Hi, my name is Tom Crean, and in this video, I'm going to review the Cordoba C4CE. Um, we bought this instrument for one of the schools I work for as an instrument for the students to use, and uh, I'm going to talk about the features and what I think of it, and the quality, and the price point, and all that stuff. Um, just quickly, it is there's maple binding, it's all mahogany back, sides, and top which we'll talk about. It actually has a pretty good rosette, which is kind of nice um, here. I actually think it's nicer than some of the higher end Cordovas. I at least think it's prettier. Um, the electronics are Fishman. It's the, I don't know what the model is, but the one that, it's not the one on the side. It's the one that clips right here. It's kind of, it's the same one that's in all the Martins. Um, so, if I'm looking at the build quality of this, it's it's put together well for what it is. It's a Chinese made guitar. Um, everything is straight. The, the frets look good. Uh, it's everything looks good. It's I mean, I got it from Amazon. The school bought it from Amazon and there's like one little scratch on it which Honestly, if in, in that case, I wasn't so concerned with it. Um, I'm sure that was just Amazon and a shipping issue, nothing in particular. In terms of the sound of this, um, I'm going to compare it to a few other instruments. If we're going to compare it to the other Cordoba that's most near this in its range, the C5, this does not have any of the projection or power of the C5. Um, it's a cutaway, which is understandable, but I feel this instrument is, I guess acoustically, is a little muted, whereas the C5 kind of sings out a little bit. I'm just tuning it up. I'm going to play a few short pieces, um, just excerpts, not the whole thing. Some very standard fare. So here we go. more like and probably the area that I'm actually most impressed with on this overall is just uh actually pick playing. <laughs> um, if you're buying this for a classical guitar, I don't think this is a very good classical guitar. I, I think you're going to buy something without a cutaway anyways. But if you're looking to buy an electric uh, classical guitar, I don't really think this is it. Um, just to give you a volume comparison, like this is my Godin Multiac unplugged. So here's the multi-act. So keep in mind, this is a chambered body versus this, and we're talking it's pretty close to the same volume. Um, I guess that would be the one thing I would say about this instrument is, I think if you're an acoustic electric, you know, looking to expand. This is a really good deal, I think. I mean, I bought it for school to bang through some tunes in class and for the kids to play it. I think it's great for that. I don't think this is a very good classical guitar. Um, there's nothing wrong. The only thing I want to call out, I don't like, I don't like this Fishman electronics that's here by a thread of tape. 
Um, it's already got knocked down once because of the humidity this summer. Um, but for if so, if you're gonna play, if you're a jazz guy, you might actually get some good value out of this. Like. So you might get some good use out of it. If you want to hear the plugged in tone, it's not the greatest, but it's it's serviceable. This is this is through a Roland solid state amp. So you might get some really good use out of this um, if, if you want to buy it for that. If you want to spend more money, honestly, um, you're probably going to get, if you're a professional, you're probably going to want um, the G GK Studio by Cordoba is very nice. I personally, I like I like the Golden Multiac for acoustic electric personally. Um, but if you're looking to get by on something, and you're not looking to really play classical, like traditional classical, I, I think this might be worth the 300 bucks this cost. One more thing to point out, and I don't think the video is gonna show you this, is that this has like a beautiful, like the finish on it, like you can see the grain in it still. It's, it's a very thin finish. And some of the pieces of maple have figuring on it. I mean, it's very nice, I mean, for 300 which is what this costs. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking to try an acoustic electric nylon, you could probably go a whole lot worse than this. Just don't be expecting to rip through, you know, any serious classical pieces. This is not really a classical guitar in any way. But if for what it is, it's quite good and it's a good deal. So let me know what you think. Have a good day.